This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Now we're going to configure teaming on our public network. So when we team it, it's going to look like one logical NIC, but it's going to be using both physical NICs, and we're going to give it the IP address of 192.168.6.111. Anyway, so here I am on node A, and let's go to NIC teaming here, and I'll just click on disabled. It's going to open up our NIC teaming tool. Let's go to tasks, click on new team, and we want our two public NICs, and we'll give it a team name here of public team, public dash team. We'll go ahead and click OK. And it's going to create our team. The first NIC normally comes up right away. The second NIC might take about a minute to come up. Okay, the second NIC came up. Now let's take a look at our network connections and see what happened here. It created this logical interface called public dash team here. So when we go to configure this NIC with an IP address, we don't configure each individual team member. We just configure the new logical NIC that was created. So let's go to Properties, and let's go to IP version 4. Let's go to Properties, and let's give it a static IP address, 192.168.6.111, and then the rest of our information here for our network. These are our domain controllers. Let's go ahead and click OK, click Close. So now node A is configured, the public network and the teaming. Let's do node B. Now node B is a server core installation, so to configure a server core installation, if we did want to use the GUI tool, we could. We could go to Server Manager, go to All Servers, and let's just right click and add a server. So I'm going to go ahead and add node B. And this could be done from Server Manager from another server. It could be done from a Windows 10 machine that has the remote server administration tools installed. When we install those tools, it also installs Server Manager. So now we can right click on node B and click on configure NIC teaming. So you can see we're working on node B right now. We could create the new team. We're going to use PowerShell though. So let's go over to node B. Okay, so here we are on node B. I'm going to go ahead and run PowerShell. So server core installation. And let's use the get dash net adapter commandlet. So we can see our net adapters. Okay, there they are. Now we're going to use the new dash net lbfo team commandlet. Let's create, give it the same name, public dash team. The team members are going to be our two public NICs here, just separated by commas. And the team name, we'll give it public dash team. Load balancing algorithm. Uh, we'll talk about this in a bit. I'm going to set it at IP addresses. Normally on a physical machine, we'd want to set it at dynamic. Uh, teaming mode, switch independent. Again, we'll talk about that in a bit. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. Are we sure we want to do that? Yes. All right, and the team is created. You can see it's down right now. It's going to take a minute or two to come up, and we can use the get-net LBFO team commandlet to check on it. It's probably not up quite yet. It's degraded. I got one NIC up, so we got to wait for the other NIC to come up. All right, let's check on it. Okay, now it's up. Now let's use our get dash net adapter commandlet and see what happened there it created our new public team net adapter so we need to configure that with an IP address in order to do that we're going to use a variable here net adapter and use the get dash net adapter commandlet and get the net adapter public team so it's going to return that object and store it in our net adapter variable then we're going to pipe that variable to our new dash net IP address commandlet IP version 4 the IP address we want to give it is 192.168.6.112, prefix length 24, that's a subnet mask at 255.255.255.0. Type's going to be unicast and our default gateway. Okay, it's been configured. Now let's set our DNS servers with the set-dns client server address. Again, we're setting on that public team and my two DNS servers here. Great, we could use an IP config space slash all to view it. That's going to show us everything here. Let's find our public team. There it is, and our IP address has been configured and our DNS servers look good.